Hi, my name is Brian, and I would like to give a quick walkthrough of my aquaponics system that I made for my apartment. Um, I had seen some other systems online, and uh, they all seemed either expensive, too big, or kind of ugly, and so I thought I'd just make my own and try to make something that was at least fairly uh, presentable for my living room. Um, if you're not already aware, aquaponics uh, refers to a kind of symbiotic relationship um, between fish and plants um, that provides a good way to grow both. Um, you, can, you can farm plants and fish at the same time, taking advantage of the fact that when fish eat food and then produce excrement, that excrement um, uh, releases chemicals in the water that, if left in the fish tank, will kill the fish eventually. But those, those same byproducts, um, specifically nitrogen or ammonia that gets converted to nitrogen by bacteria, um, that gets consumed by the, uh, by the plants. And so they kind of filter out that um, bad stuff and uh, take advantage of it. So what you end up with is a nice self-contained ecosystem whereby the fish provide food for the plants, which clean the water for the fish. Um, and so supposedly it works really well, and you can produce very productive farms for, of both plants and fish this way. Um, the reason I got into it was partly just out of curiosity. It sounded really cool. Um, but also because I'd made attempts at growing herbs the old-fashioned way in dirt and um, kind of didn't have such great success. So this is my attempt to be a little more, <laughs> more successful in that endeavor and hopefully have herbs available for whenever I need them in cooking. So what we have here is um, two, two uh, pretty cheap tanks that I bought at the container store. The bottom one is about seven and a half gallons, and that's the fish tank. As you can see, it's uh, full of relatively clear water. Got some pebbles down on the bottom, and um, a little, uh, little cave thing for the fish to hide in. I just added the fish yesterday, so they're still pretty skittish. Um, you might be able to see them back there. Anyway, um, so that's the fish tank. Uh, just water in a tank with uh, some pebbles and stuff. Now down on this end, you have a we have a fountain pump. This is a I believe it's a 75 gallon per hour fountain pump. Nothing sophisticated. Just bought it on Amazon, and it has a half inch uh, output um, diameter, which fits right into a half inch PVC pipe. And so I bought some PVC pipe and fittings, and just basically rigged up all the, uh, the angles and everything that I needed to route the water up to the grow bed, which is up here. Um, this tank, I'm not sure the gallons, but as you can see, it's shallower but also wider. Um, I'm hoping it will be deep enough for some good root systems to develop. Um, but it's uh, full of hydro hydrotin, which is a, uh, a product produced specifically for um, hydroponics. It's basically expanded uh, clay, I believe, and it just provides a good coarse uh, growing medium um, that lets water flow uh, between the, the, the pebbles, um, but also lets roots um, kind of take root in there. Um, on this end, we have a, a couple pieces of PVC um, attached to an L-fitting, L um, and these have about five or six holes each in them pointing pointing down, so that lets the water kind of distribute um, pretty evenly from this end of the tank. Um, and then all that bubbles that you see is from a uh, six inch um, air stone that uh, you can buy at your pet store for fish tanks. And that's providing um, aeration to the water. Um, <clears throat> now obviously one end of this tank is going to have a lot more um, aeration than the other. Um, my hope is that because the water is is dumping in on the far end and having to go flow through this aerated zone. I'm hoping that it will carry this um, this air content um, far enough to provide air for all the plants. And you can kind of see on the side of the tank, there's a lot of air bubbles there. So clearly, there is some aeration going on on this end, and there is less on this end, but you can still see some. So I'm I'm hoping there's there's enough. Um, time will tell. Um, so anyway, the water flows through the hydrotin, um, and it comes down to this end where we have the drain. And took a little uh, trial and error, but I finally figured out a scheme that allowed for the water to flow freely into the drain without getting clogged by hydrotin or without hydrotin falling into the, the tube or the pipe. And that's just a half-inch PVC pipe cover that I drilled a bunch of holes in. 
and so none of the hydrotin can actually fit in that. Um, but I did find that because the hydrotin tends to kind of float, it would float into the holes and clog them up and reduce the water flow. So I took an old uh, pill container, cut off the bottom, and just basically stuck it down over that pipe, which is sticking vertically um, up. And uh, that's providing enough of a um, barrier, I guess, so that the hydrotin can't get, sorry, um, can't get up into the, the filter itself and clog anything. So that seemed to work out pretty well. Um, and then down here, and this was probably the trickiest part of this whole thing actually, was figuring out a way to make a nice seal uh, drain hole um, for a PVC going through this smooth um, plastic material. And then my first attempt was just to put a pipe through and, and put a bunch of uh, um, silicone sealer to try to you know, seal it up and hopefully provide the adhe adhesive. Um, that did not work, and the silicone did not stick to the smooth plastic even if, after I scratched it up a bit. So what I wound up doing was buying a threaded um, length of pipe that these two things, that there's another one of these on the inside, and these screw onto that. I had to cut it off, cut it shorter so that they would actually screw flush with one another, um, and then had to just manhandle that together and screw it so that it squeezed against this thin wall. And, um, and then I put some silicone sealer on the inside as I did that. So it's screwed up nice and tight, it's very rigid, it won't move, um, and it's also sealed pretty well. So that worked out. Um, took a little playing around to figure that out, or figure that that would work. Um, you can see I have a little uh, valve here. This just allows me to um, cut off any flow to the lower tank if, if um, you know, I need to turn off the pump and do some stuff in the upper bed and I want to make sure there's no no drips going to come down. So it's just kind of a convenience. Um, and then right here, we have this um, draining right into this cheap trash can that I bought at Target. And this trash can is mainly just serving as kind of a uh, filter or kind of an intermediate chamber where I can put filtration medium if necessary. And it lets kind of the dust or the dirt particles and stuff have a chance to settle down to the bottom before getting put into the fish tank. Um, in truth, it doesn't actually do a whole lot of filtering, but I do have a, a piece of sponge in there, or foam, that uh, is catching some of the larger particles. But really, any time you do stuff in the upper bed and stir up the, the dust that the hydrotin comes with, um, it's going to make everything dirty. So usually after doing anything like moving plants or whatever, I need to uh, turn the system off and give it time for that those fine particles to settle um, before turning the system back on. But that's essentially it. Um, you can see a couple safety features here. We have a, a drain up here, an overflow drain. Um, I mean, in theory, that should never never need to be used. It's not a great seal, but if this drain were to get clogged for whatever reason, um, that would allow the water to run off, um, and it just goes directly into the tank or the fish tank as you can see there. Um, so again, not a, not something I want to be used very often, but if in a pinch it should help drain before the whole thing overflows. But that's basically the system. Um, one thing I did note is that the, uh, the fountain pump I have is definitely a clean water pump, so if there's enough murkiness in this water, it'll start making noises and that's kind of disconcerting. Um, but the water is now clean enough that it hasn't been having any issues. So hopefully it will continue to run well. I've also heard those pumps have somewhat of a break-in period, so maybe that's all it was.